Well, by now, you've probably seen this. The video is on your social media feed. Teens spreading panic at Bayside Marketplace. Groups fighting, lighting fireworks, and damaging stores. Amanda Placencia is live in downtown Miami with more. And Amanda, several teens have been arrested. Yes, Juan, four teens have been arrested between the ages of 14 and 16 years old after wreaking havoc last night here in Bayside. And we've learned that fireworks, which were mistaken for gunshots, are what led to that major police response. A massive police response at Bayside on New Year's Day. Videos posted all over social media Monday night showed dozens of police officers swarming the area after the call initially came in as an active shooter. According to arrest reports, police say a large group of teens started causing a riot inside the mall and were lighting loud fireworks. They were entering businesses possibly armed with sticks, causing damage inside stores and just creating panic for people inside Bayside. As officers tried to control the situation, they had to shut down Biscayne Boulevard for six blocks until the all clear was given. We are not reporting their names because they are minors, but four teens between the ages of 14 and 16 years old were arrested during the mayhem. Now that it's calm a day later, tourists and those who live in South Florida weighed in on what happened. A little bit worried about the security in the area. Uh, I have a baby, as you can see, so I think it could be like dangerous for the families that visiting around here. But I heard what happened, I think, last night or New Year's uh, in the downtown. So, yeah, I guess that was like a very dangerous thing. Later in the night, a group of 50 teens also caused a disturbance at a nearby 7-Eleven. One victim in the chaos told police that a teen threw a bottle at his car, and when he got out to ask who threw it, there was an argument, and he was jumped by a group of male teens. He told police that they went into his car and stole his iPhone. Two of the teens were arrested for resisting an officer without violence. The other two are facing a host of charges, including burglary, grand theft, battery, and resisting an officer without violence. The president of the Downtown Neighbors Alliance had a statement about Monday night's situation, which read in part, a concerned resident mistook the fireworks destinations for gunshots and reported an active shooter, which led to the heavy deployment of police resources that is being shared on social media. We want to reassure everyone in our community that the Downtown Neighbors Alliance is asking our leaders to use this development as a teachable moment. Now all four of those teens who were arrested in last night's chaos are expected to appear in juvenile court on Wednesday. Live at Bayside in downtown Miami, Amanda Placencia, NBC6 News.